Hey you guys, God bless all of you. Thanks for watching Mike Creed Outdoors. Guys, today in this video, I'm out here in the wilderness and I need to get a, shel a shelter built. So I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do it. The, the temperature is hovering right at the freezing mark. This morning there was black ice everywhere on the highways. And uh, I decided to come to the woods and show you guys how to build a shelter to survive in this kind of weather. Everything's wet. There's no question about it. It could start snowing any minute. So. We've got to get a shelter built here, you guys, so that's what we're going to do. It's definitely hard work, you guys, building a survival shelter out here in this type of weather. But failure is not an option. A little bit tiring to you guys. It's done started to snow out here now. All right, you guys, that's what it's looking like so far. I have to keep my camera covered up, guys, because it's not waterproof. Oh guys, cover it with as much leaves as you possibly can. Okay, you guys, I've got the shelter constructed. It's taken approximately an hour and a half, guys, to gather up enough stuff right here to get this thing done. Now I'm going to want a, a fire in front of this shelter right here, guys. So that's the next task, getting a fire built right in front of the shelter so that I can have heat reflecting back. Okay, you guys, <clears throat> I've got to build a shelter before I can even down try to start that fire. So I found some pine bark layers actually make a roof over what I'm trying to build a fire on because I can't do it right there with the rain and stuff and the snow coming down on it. Okay, guys, hardest part of this whole ordeal is trying to get this wet wood to burn right here finally found some dry locust bark along with some pine sticking on a tree and I, I think I've got the thing going so let's see what happens and that's going to keep me off of, off of those wet leaves also have another one that I can hang up right here to reflect the heat from the campfire back down on top of it okay guys in survival situations, guys, always carry a plastic bag of some type with you. This right here, guys, can save your life just as quick as just about anything else out here that you can find. Even that's that uh, blanket right there. People, guys, who die from hypothermia die because they have a heart attack. Their blood gets so thick, you guys, because their core temperature goes down too far. They get... They just have a heart attack. Their blood gets too thick to pump it. But if you've got a plastic bag just like this, you can actually make yourself a poncho out of that bag, you guys. That's one of them good bags there. But anyway, I immediately feel 100% warmer, you guys, just by having a plastic bag to keep my core temperature from going down too far. See that right there? See, I got a fire going, but what if I didn't have a fire going, and what if I was out exposed in this? If I just had a plastic bag to keep my core temperature up, just like that right there, guys, I could survive. I'll tell you one thing, getting that fire started was a miraculous thing to do out here in this kind of weather, you guys. It really is, and it's a lifesaver as well. You fix yourself some type of food in these situations. If you can, you need to. The 
that cool down a little bit. Okay, you guys, that's the way it's done. That's the way you make your shelter. That's the way you make your fire. By the way, guys, I put a piece of wood. I put a log about six inches. It's wet right now, but it'll dry out across the front of the fire, you know, across the front of here, so that when that fire gets into it, it'll reflect heat all night long back into the shelter. Thanks for watching this video, you guys. Have yourself a great day.